It's so amazing, so well done. <laughs> it makes me speechless. This is phenomenal. Dear friends of the New Open Art and Culture, this is Ingo from About Africa and the Rest of the World. And yesterday I was on the Brava, on the Brussels Art Fair, to see what the tribal art galleries have to offer. And today I'm sitting in the massage chair here in the lounge of the Brussels airline and try to command it. So if you hear some noises, it's coming from outside. Have fun. And let's start with DT Glass and let's start with me here at home. This is a great song, of course, yeah, because in the lounge it was really too loud and I'm here now. Now it's Sunday, it's here and was the proper th th on Thursday. And here, yeah, Glass always has good items, always special thing, always great. And this time, you know, see here from the Congo, he has Nkisi as his major theme, is the major exhibition. Nkisi, these power sculptures from the Congo and here is good ones. Of course, there's too many light on it. And on <laughs> real life, that looks better. Look at this, the, the back of the back. It's, it's wow, amazing. It's not the biggest Nkisi in the world that he, he has, but he is, but the ones he has is great. They're not the tallest one, but great ones. And look at this face. This is, this is really art. This is traditional African art, how it should be <laughs> with everything. Yeah, here's Bemba sculpture which is a very charming at uh, here is and here it's a Janus sculpture sculpture Janus head and very very charming one one of my favorites not the favorite but one of my favorites because really being so small and so nice so tiny and so nice and here look at the teeth what he has this is powerful here even with the class with the magical things in it and and yeah this is, well, but the, the light, the light here. But I think you can see it here, the song and, and a, a great one, which is of course a power sculpture as well, with this horn there. And uh, Klaas is always good at the Brava, the Brussels Art Fair. And so he was today. Look at this teeth, the strange teeth. It's amazing, <laughs> it's, it's strange. And so now here another thing, you take it with this power thing on it and uh, this loading and uh, yeah you see it it is high quality it is good i think this was maybe the best i saw there at uh, at, at clay's class and you know the congo art and this is what the belgian collectors normally like to buy so i think he has done everything right but let's see how it will work <laughs> another one strange but normal teeth no this is how they made their teeth in the congo and uh, <laughs> Some of them, of course. And here are the taker sculpture, very cubistic form. Look at the, the uh, things. Here's that on summary for me. Maybe he was this surprised because for me he was more or less. It's my both my, my two favorite objects on the whole uh, Prafa. This is a, a crate Dogon. <laughs> wow. Look, this is how a Dogon should be. Look at this shape and ah, good for enough. Perfect, Puno doesn't look Puno mask doesn't look very very charming, but looks powerful and strong. Here's some other items, and uh, I think this is a Bali even. Yeah, might be Bali. It's very good one, and and here this you no know, really Dalton summary was a very very positive surprise for me. Here's some other good objects. This is very similar to the one you see before. But once again, this is the classical style. Look at the patina, which is perfect. Here's some spoon and the what does the cameraman shows now? Here, of course, Dan. Yeah, they all should be in Dan and some, some some modern art painting to see where it is from. Yeah, everybody should have a quota or at least two or maybe two quotas at home. You know, I'm not the biggest fan. I so often told about this, but yeah, they're good. They're nice, but. Here comes, does it? Yeah, this is my favorite. It's a Guru or Bowley pottery mask, ex Jan and Anita Lundberg. I love it. You find this realistic forms, and this maybe was the other favorite. It's a bulky head. It's so amazing, so well done. <laughs> it makes me speechless. This is phenomenal. It's really phenomenal. It's a Janus head. And yeah, if you do have the money, <laughs> if I would have the money, I really would buy this because. I, it was outstanding phenomenal. Wow, wow, wow. Look, and here, an extra point. You know, he's living, <laughs> I don't know what the camera's done. Perfect. This is Finch. 
Finch always has wunderkammer objects and here, um, you know, I was very surprised, uh, I found impressed when I saw him first some years ago and, but now I see, he, Finch is always same, same, but not a lot of different. And here's a, <laughs> his African uh, objects as well as, as from everywhere, from Europe, from England, whatever. He's a wunderkammer, but, but maybe she, sometimes he should, Yes, change and offer something really new, something outstanding new. He is Montego Montego. I think from Barcelona. I think he have he has a new uh, gallery rooms now in, in in Spain. But this is an amazing object. Once again, Cindy <laughs> Kissy and the patina. I don't know how Montego is doing this, but I saw him some weeks ago at the uh, Burgundy Tribal Show, and he has. Always for each show he has great objects and this was the same for the Brava. He's always, maybe not the number one, but he's number one, two or three on each on each fair. I don't know who he's doing that. He has, he needs a lot of stuff, a lot of objects at home. And he had Janus head once again on the Congo and uh, Montego is fantastic. And uh, yeah, it's always fantastic. But you know, this time two objects by, from Dart and Summary. <laughs> but for me, well, we're more my taste is about my taste, it's not about what's, what's good or not. But once again, I have to say we had only four galleries on the Prava with uh, traditional African oceanic art only. But the quality was very, very, very high, high like this. And of course, it is Montego. I think he has Felix in the back. Yeah, Mark Felix. And yeah, everybody should have Mahonga or Kota or whatever. And I uh, love this party now, these objects, but show it later. This, I guess I know, knew this, but I don't know. But yeah, Montego, <laughs> if you have some money, go to Montego. <laughs> you will be happy and you will be happy. Look at the eyes of these objects and you know, arm is missing, but and so what? And so what? It even makes the sculpture stronger, these all things. And his major topic, one of his topics was small, was tiny, small is beautiful, small objects. He asked some, some of them. It's interesting to see small objects because I think you can earn more money with big objects and you need tall objects and you need really money. Because here is a Mulak uh, Camon uh, sculpture, small, because you really need money because the Brava is not so cheap, of course. You need money to be there and you have to sell. And okay, this wasn't one issue, it was small items like this one. And uh, here was the one with the, <laughs> the absolute crazy patina. And here I had a polys. Once again, you don't often find them on, on fairs like Prava or Tefa because, yeah. I don't know how much they do cost, maybe 4,000, 5,000, I really don't know, but, but it's not the one which brings you to, uh, to, the, to the plus and to, in a win situation in this kind of fairs. But of course, he has other items as well. Here you see a problem with the, with the camera if the, if the objects are black <laughs> and, the, the, and the background is white. But okay, this is how it should be. And this was once again amazing. Maybe this was my number three, a Dogon. Head is missing, but look at the shape and look at the patina and look at everything. And this one was was, was very nice too. Here, you see here this horn, which is yeah, once again. And here more Montego. It's so always impressive what he has. Really, I like his style and uh, really a lot. And here, yeah, some more of the small objects. And yes, I filmed the small objects because I filmed the small objects. And sometimes like this one. It's a real strong sculpture. You don't know that is, you can't see that it's only the, the small, but there's a strong culture, the, the sculptures among them, the, these bronze objects. And, but I think the first one which I showed was, was, was even better. This was number two among these tiny objects. Don't know, I think he will sell it. He should sell it because, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and uh, wow, we have here yeah, other things and yeah. Presses a Nufo mask, uh, and uh, this was a Fang fan. I think very rare. I don't see them so often in, in this kind. And a uh, very good one. I think it's Fang. Fang. And here's the camera. <laughs> you hear more, uh, more a mask, spoiler from the Ivy Coast. And then some more tiny, small objects from the thing. Kolango. There is a, it was a very good book by Kruger about these, these objects, and uh, they have fans, a lot of fan community. 
and they're <laughs> not cheap, <laughs> not cheap at all, but very interesting. And here are the double, double objects, and there were the single ones. So Montego, a lot of stuff in his booth there. And yeah, I think this might be EU or EJO or whatever. Yeah, of course, good as well. And this was, yeah, I love it a lot. I think I, think I saw it before, the Boli, but a very small one. But you know, that's what you need. It's fantastic. It's, <laughs> it's a wow, wow, wow object. And now we're in Gabun and still at Montego. Oh, it makes a lot of filming at, from, at, at Montego. But yeah, but it's worth showing what he has. This is Schifferly. I never heard of Schifferly. And he has three objects, tr uh, traditional uh, African oceanic art. And one of this, this Maori, I think it was from uh, Kevin Conru. It's a great object, however, the price, I think he wanted, wants to have more than 200,000 euro, which is... Here's the Guillaume mask, you know, Guillaume, we pronounce Guillaume, this uh, legendary dealer and gallerist from Paris. And here's another great object, a, a tall object at least. It was exhibited in the 1950s in the Museum of Primitive Art, when you could call it primitive art, these times are gone. And I think he wants to have more than 700,000 euro. Whoop. And last but not least, you have the chauffeur. I just had to cut because I had problems with, with my with my recording. And you know, this is a fantastic thing from Timur and Handmask. I think it's rare. And Chaffel, he's this week he's on the Prafa, next week he's on the Tefa. So he needs material for both, for two great, great uh, fairs. And uh, yeah, so he has some African here, like like Kotir, but he has a lot of Indonesia stuff here as well. In the background, of course, they're lids from, from uh, bowls from Papua New, New Guinea, from Boykin, and he's Afri African, so he has to separate. And this was from, from Indonesia, from Hampatong, I guess. This is one of my favorites. You see, that's one of my favorites because, you know, I will now circle around. But look at these teeth, once again, the tongue. There were some interesting tongue, uh, teeth objects on this Brafra and this Brussels Art Fair, but this is, yes, it's a, it's a nice one. You gotta, yeah. And here, a good Puno course and yeah he has good stuff like always um, and i'm very curious what we'll show on the tff and this is from borneo you know this this colors this make this crazy thing is perfect but i think each hair is <laughs> each hair is one for one enemy which was killed so i did not count how many enemies he has killed but this is great as well and from from inner and from the outside so and see you next time <laughs> okay bye